Yeah, we will be seeing today how SAP ALE works. ALE, Application Linking and Enabling. In this, we will be seeing how the IDOCs will be transferred from one client to the another client. For this, the transaction code is SALE, press enter. Now you are in sending and receiving systems. Just click that. And click logical systems. And this now in this you have to just one define the logical system and then assign the client to logical systems. First we will be just just design just defining the logical systems here. Just, just click it. Select the new entries. Now we will be now we just just define the logical system something as for SND and using this as the name 800 is the name of 800 is the client and SND is the sending system you can define your own I am using this one now for RCV 810 810 is the receiving system just select this receiving system or you can just uh, type uh, or whatever you feel and now just save it go to create request just type something related request for for system 800 press enter Click OK. Save it. Go back. here save it and go back now you have to assign the client to logical systems select this client 800 come here and you have already defined the sending and receiving system here select it from here for SND 800 click save this ok and go back again select 810 and double click is the receiving system 810 save it this ok go back go back now we have to define it in the RFC remote function call now define the target system for RFC calls click go here and create this is the destination so it is for RCV 810 is the receiving system system here the destination system save it now here you have to enter the IP address for that you have to go here 
and run it cmd you come here and the type ip config by this you will have the IP address here 192.168.1.1 now you have to just enter this IP address here uh, what is that 192.168.1.2 mm, yeah same one save it go to Ulagon and security type here the language as English client as A10 SAP user India press enter ok save it go back go back now you have to go to this modeling and implementing business process go to maintain wood distribution model and distribute views change to edit mode now create this model view now you give the name as uh, I give some something my name model view for something name for click ok oh it say already exist so you give here some another name you give it here as 5 give it name as 5 uh, yeah 5 mod view ok just select it add message sending system is for SND and receiving system is for RCV and message type is select it from here and just click find I will give it as matmas matmas find it it is here provide it here select ok now you just see it it will be added to the list your mat mask is here ok now now you have to save it go to this model view and, and transport just transport the idoc create request request number save it ok now you go to environment generate partner profile partner system detail is that for for RCV 18 just execute it and there you hear see this outbound parameter for message type matmos matmos successfully created this all the fields here should be in color green if you have some error it will show in the red color just now just go back and again back again back now in this uh, uh, in model view you just go to the edit mode and model view and click the distribute the model view name was 5 mod m view ok select ok and ok here this model view has been created so now distribute process is also completed now in this now you have to just log off from client 800 yes 